I'm just remembering how much anxiety I had when I bought this camera and how much of a process it was to earn up the courage to spend the money on something that was, I didn't even know the terminology at that point, but to invest in an asset for myself. I remember all I asked for for Christmas one year was money for a camera. And that was my first year of college and I was supporting myself. And I ended up using the money to pay for housing. And I knew it was the wrong decision, but I did it. And some of you might be thinking like, how is that the wrong decision? Well, fuck housing. <laughs> Not fuck having a place to live, although honestly, fuck having a place to live. I don't have a place to live right now and I'm in the fucking Caribbean after spending time in Manhattan and now I'm going to Arizona. There's like incredibly high risk in a lifestyle like that, but also such high reward. And, and also, it's not even that high risk. People think it is. It's just high volatility. It's just high volatility. It's seasons come and seasons go. Life changes. But I digress. I'm just grateful because, like, I did it. This is years and years and years ago now, but this is probably, I think, that besides art supplies, which this counts as an art supply, but from very young, I started investing in myself. The S&P me, right? I put all my money in S&P me. And it's paid off. This camera has carried me through so much. It's almost a decade old now. That's crazy. But I think it's the first big purchase, like $700, that's no fucking joke. That $700 is a lot, like across the board, you can do a lot with that much money. A lot. But I just knew, I just knew if I bought this camera, I would use it. I have. This camera has documented like every big moment in my life and some of the biggest moments are like these intimate moments with the things I've created this camera has captured the essence of every person I love this camera has been with me every place in the world I've ever gone. I've just started. This camera has seen me cry and laugh and seen me confused and scared and so grateful and so happy and at peace. This camera has been pushed into the bottom of my backpack and fallen on the concrete and kept around my neck and bumped into corners of tables and captured dust in the lens and this camera has seen every version of me 
the things that I don't share with the rest of the world, the things that the rest of the world wouldn't even care about seeing. This is a camera that is a weapon. It's a cannon. It's a fucking rebel. <laughs> this camera is me. Because it's the lens of which the art of the world, as I see it, comes into life on a hard drive at least. It's the real deal. It can't be duplicated. The present moment, you only got one of those. So, if you feel even slightly compelled to invest in yourself, even if you feel like you don't necessarily have the resources, if that is coming from a place of fear, come on, girl. Come on, guy. You could do it. I'm not a financial advisor, although I've met the best. And like some of the best in the world. I have known me by name. That's crazy. Wait, what? Also, no, it's not crazy because guess what? Give me three years. Mark my words, 2025, I'm coming for you, baby. I mean, I'm already at it. I am. But that's not y'all's business just yet. <laughs> or at all. The point is, invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. Invest in yourself. It's always worth it. It's always, 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 always worth it.